then press ups. So there was nothing. So so they, they what, what happened is what you've described. Yes, they didn't electrocute me. They didn't. They didn't use the taser on my penis to be frank. They didn't do they, that. They, I don't want to lie. No, they, they, in fact, they even gave me food to eat well so that I could get strength for more slaps before before they interrogated me. So yes, they gave me food to eat. I don't lie. I know the lady when I went to Europe, I saw the lady. I said thank you very much for feeding me and giving feeding me well. So, so they slapped lie. you and they used tasers on you. Yes. On which part of your body? Yeah, my arm. Yeah. Your arm. My both arm, left and right. And they handcuffed you. They handcuff me behind. And then they ask you to do what you describe as military style. Yes, my head down, my head down, my legs up against the wall. Your head down, your legs up. I cannot do the demonstration here. Yeah, do the demonstration. We'll film it. Uh, so he's trying to do it. I just want to know what they ask him to do. Okay. Listeners, a really harrowing experience from a, a colleague journalist, Emmanuel Ajafo Abugri, who's demonstrating for us when we're filming it right now. Okay. So, so his arms are on the ground. So hands this? are on the ground. Yes. <laughs> And then his legs are up against the wall. This is how they made me do it this way. Wow. This is it. Exactly. For, for how long? I did this till the, the point I could no more do. Then, and then you see my back. Yes. They hit and I fell like this. They hit your back and you fell. Yeah. Wow. Then he told me to do press up and stand up, so I had to do press up like this. And so I did the press up to a point I couldn't do that. I fell like this, and I said, "Boss, I'm weak." So wow. He put. Then he pulled. Then one guy put his hand here. And pulled me up this way. When he pulled me up this way with, with yeah. the then other the other guy came with the, uh, the elbow. elbow. Yeah. So when I was then, yeah. 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 And I fell again. They were just brutalizing you. So when I fell, when I fell, then they asked me to rise up. Then I rise up, then I couldn't breathe. You know, you know, your backbone controls your nervous system. Yeah. So your breath and all those things pass through there. Yeah. You see, wow. Yeah. So your your backbone. All this was within system. that period that they took. My brother, I won't lie. I'm a nod now. I was properly trained. I won't lie. Why should I lie? I respect people in this country. I respect the president. I respect certain people in this country. So why should I lie? I don't know why. Why should I lie? If they didn't, they didn't, they didn't beat me. My brother, why should I come so to two, So two things. They, inter they interrogated you and beat you up on the basis of two articles. Because yes, I have to confess who that Constant Kwabin is. And confess they have to so who is this Constant Kwabin? My brother, I don't even know him who. But do you, is this somebody who exists? I do whether he exists or not. You know, opinion piece, Bernard, you know how this game is. Sometimes, even you can send an opinion piece to Graphic and Co. They publish. They don't necessarily have to know you. You can send to media houses, feature stories. They publish. They don't necessarily have to know you. Whether you are a human being, you are a ghost, you are, li you are living in Mongolia, mm. or whatever. That is up to you. But once okay. it's passed the, the editorial test, they will publish. Let me read an article, uh, a, a, a statement I received from the information minister which has been uh, widely circulated um, to you for your, for your comment. It is dated July 1, 2019. And this statement came very deep in the night. It says, the National Security Council Secretariat has taken notice of reports that Emmanuel Adjafo Abugri, one of the two suspects from modern Ghana, who was arrested for engaging in cyber crimes, has been has made claims of being subjected to acts of torture while in the custody of its officers. The Secretariat takes a very serious view of these claims and wishes to state in no uncertain terms that these allegations are false. We consider it to be a clear and deliberate attempt by the suspect to discredit the investigations and the case against him. Torture and manhandling of suspects are not part of the culture are not part and parcel of the culture and architecture of the Secretariat under the administration of President Akufu Addo. We wish to categorically state that the suspect during questioning was never manhandled. <laughs> Neither was he subjected to any form of forced physical contact. The Secretariat is pleased to note that upon the suspect being handed over to the CID of the Ghana Police Service, the police has requested that a medical investigation on the suspect be undertaken immediately. Hey. We are confident that the results of the medical examination will present the truth in the matter so as to inform the appropriate steps to be taken. In the meantime, the suspect will be arraigned before court on Tuesday, 2nd July 2019, and the charges preferred against him will be made known. The Secretariat reassures the general public that it will, at all times, continue to respect the rule of law in all his operations and there's no signature 
National Security Council Secretariat, P.O. Box 1627, Castle Annex, Accra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Bernard. that's what that's what they sent to us. Bernard. Yeah. Bernard, b- let me ask of you. Hacking, uh, cyber crime. <laughs> it's a serious word. Hmm. Look, um, let me ask. When they came to our office, hmm? they read it. What communication gadget did they pick, or sophisticated gadget did they pick? Now my laptop is with them. What hacking software did they find on my laptop? But, but they should mind them. They shouldn't plant anything on my laptop, because we will find IT expert to to identify that. So they shouldn't plant anything. So your laptop is not in your possession. It's not. It's still with them. When you pick my laptop, what hacking software did, did you see on my laptop? And which organizations did we hack? Are they not entitled to know that somebody have, somebody attempted to hack them so that they could also do? A back a back a background check on their system and indeed indicate where it is coming from the attack is coming from so they could take uh, 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 measures has any media house media house or company reported any case of cyber crime uh, of hacking to them which is they claim is coming from modern do i have do i even have an it background in the first place so I mean, I was, they, they say that um they have handed you over to cid okay and the police have requested a medical investigation on the matter. Is this known to you? Um, did you when, when, w- okay, let's just wrap this up. I come there. When they released, when did they release you? They released me on Saturday, nine twenty-seven a.m. So they took you on Thursday. Yes, four four thirteen in the mo- in the afternoon. Yeah. And then you were th- so this torture thing you described happened ten p.m. on eleven th- eleven p.m. on Thursday night. Yes. Friday, what happened? Friday, you know what? When they when they couldn't find anything, they they they, 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 they took me back to my basement. Before they could me, they, they, before they could take me back, the gentleman, one of the gentlemen asked, "Gentleman, are you enjoying the place?" I said, "No." Now don't worry. Tomorrow Friday, 11 same p.m. You will enjoy the place. So in my mind, I said, "Hey, so that means that Friday, 10, 11 p.m. I, I was, I'm going to go through this again." So when I slept the following day, you know, I went back and slept in the chair. So they don't have a bed there for people to sleep. So. When I slept in the chair the following morning, Friday, I was counting my time, my time. Then I was asking, hey, so it got to now nine. Then my heart started beating. Then my heart started beating. Then eleven, I said, hey, yeah. So eleven, ah, I read that the no call came. Then twelve, nobody came. I said, ah, God, thank you. They so they didn't come to. So Friday, me. nothing happened. Nothing happened. And then Saturday they released you. What? So I was there. In fact, so I was at, you know, normally it, 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 they kept me at the basement. And so all the guys, the DVL guy was not there. And one other guy, they also brought later. They've, they've all been released. So I was the only person there. So around that 12 p.m., they, they didn't call me. I said, well, let me go up there and then go and uh, visit the washroom. Then when I got there after visiting the washroom, I was coming. Then the guy at the reception saw me and said, oh, you're the only person down there. I said, yes. Then, oh, come. Just at the reception, there's a, 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 a sitting room there. They said, oh, come. And I came and I came to him. I said, go and lie down there. So I entered there. There were chairs. So I slept in a chair. But I realized that no, I was not fully copter. So there was a desk like this, just there with a cardboard on the ground, which I slept on. So I pushed the cardboard under the desk. Then I slept on it under there. Because of the AC, it was too strong. So but I got to a point I couldn't. Because so no cover cloth or anything. No, 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 no. So I couldn't. So I went back and knocked. And then the guy came. And I said the AC. Oh, so, oh, oh, boss, oh. Oh, you could have just off it. Yes. I beg, go. I beg. I don't want to touch. Then they say, hey, another hacking has taken place in the ministry. <laughs> so I said, I beg. I won't touch. I beg. Come and off it for me. Then he offed it. And I went and sleep. So the following day, Saturday, I was there. He said, boy. I said, yes. Wake, rise. Come out. Come. I came. Go and wash your face and come. And I went and washed my face. I've been allowed to, I've been asked to release you. I said, oh, sir. Okay. Just like that. Did you write any statement? I didn't write any statement. Okay. So, so when they released me, so he gave me my, my shoe, my belt, and my two phones with my tablet. Then, I had a call from one Eben, who is the one, I think, their, lead, their leader. He told me categorically on phone that I should keep whatever happened confidential. I will never lie. That's what he told me. And I didn't discuss with anybody. So I actually wanted to keep it confidential. So I actually decided I will not speak, I will not, I will not discuss a, this with anybody. So when he left me and I was going, then I came back and said, please, 
I beg you, I am in serious pains. Can you give me a medical form to attend to the hospital? And, and the guy told me that the guys, the guy who's supposed to, the urban guy is not uh, uh, available at the moment. He is in Kumasi. So I should go to any hospital and then bring the receipt or whatever. Then I applied because I was in pains. So from there, I walked to Rachel Runabout, picked Trot Draw, straight to my office because my belongings were there. That day, I left my bag with my room keys. So I went back to the office, called, and I was told the security guys were there. So the, the one of our colleagues was in the office. So I went and picked my bag and all that. Then from there, I went home, you know, took my shower. Then straight, I went to the hospital, what do you call police hospital. That's where I went. So when I went there, I met the doctor, and I, the doctor asked me what's the problem. And I, and I explained what happened. Then I told her that, look, I need a detailed one. She said she can't give me a detailed report if I don't have a medical, police medical form. I said, look, I'm in pain. Then he said, unless I come with a motor, okay, no problem. You prescribe something for me. Then he prescribed so she a can't, painkiller. She, she can't do a, a, a detailed a, a, a medical examination without a police medical, medical form. form. So I said, I beg, I'm in serious pain. I beg you, my, my neck, my back pain, the pain on the... Uh, my backbone, and my, especially my waist, they're sitting falling. So he prescribed an injection, diclofenac injection, diclofenac. Then another diclofenac, painkillers. But I'm an ulcer patient. So he, she didn't, I didn't tell her. And that's not the first time I've been to that hospital. That's my, my, my permanent hospital. So they have my history. And this the history. folder. Yes. So normally, when I go there, the doctors will go through the folder, and then when they see those things, then they prescribe something mild for me. The last time I went there, they gave me painkiller. They gave me coco demo or something like that. So a very mild para. No, I took. But this one, she didn't, I don't know. So she gave me the, so I, when I took the injection, I was on my way home. Then I started getting the reactions. I see. So, so this, um, this, um, all, this all, this is documented on your form. Because you, you have a folder in the hospital. It's here. So you have a folder in the hospital. This is it. So when did you visit this hospital? It was the 29th, the day I was released. The same uh, Yeah, the same day. Sunday. I have to, Saturday. Saturday. I have to go and seek, look, I was serious. There's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's it. General body pains, 29th yeah. June 2019, 4.45 p.m. Temperature 37 degrees, weight is there, pulse there, BP is there. Patient was allegedly assaulted on Thursday the evening and present with the above. No, this is I the see. injection. And then they give you the injection. If, if, you, if you say you didn't beat me, no, no. this is the injection. So you have, you have all of that? Yes, yeah, yeah. If you say you didn't beat me, the injection, yes, yeah, it. Bernard, yes, yeah, it. Check, read, read the injection. Yeah, yeah. The two of them, they are here. Yeah, read. I see. So this is uh, still on the 29th of June. Diclo something, ING 75 MG. Yeah, yeah. Actinac 100 MG. Okay, and let me see the form again. You, that's your, your thing. But you didn't have a police medical form. So later this is on, your attendance and treatment card. Yes. So I later see. on, on Sunday, then a, a, a senior man of mine, a friend of mine, said, ah, I should quickly go and do a police form, which on Sunday I went to Legon police, police station and lodged a complaint of assault. Then they gave me this, this uh, police, medic, uh, police medical form. Here is it. Which the is date the is there. 30th of June. Yes. So the police medical form, any government hospital in Manoa Jaffa. Yes, it. Assaulted. Yes. And then I went to the uh, Legon, uh, Legon Hospital. For, for this? Yes. Uh, Check. This is the payment I did for my card. And this, this is a so card. they did do the medical exam. So you know what? So this one was to give me, because I want, we wanted to do the, the correct medical examination. But when we got it, they said the doctor on duty was a, lo he was, he is a locum doctor. So he doesn't have that Monday to do so. So unless the doctor on duty, but the doctor on duty was not available. So I should go and come Monday. But Monday I had to report at the, C, uh, the National Security Agency. So we couldn't do. This evening, yesterday evening, after the up and down and then the municipal police station and all that, then I decided let me go to police uh, hospital for the proper one because I, I, I was told that unless I go back to the first doctor who first exam the doctor who first examined me. So he saw my condition and could tell. But when we got there, we met another doctor. That was what he, she told us, right? and that she cannot I actually see. do. So I should come today, and that, that that same doctor will be available. She's a lady, so I could meet her because she saw me first. But she cannot do anything because she didn't. So see when me you herself. went to the police station yesterday, did they prefer any charges against you? They didn't prefer any charges against me. They asked me to report today. Have you written a statement at the police? I station? wrote. What happened to you? you wrote what it? happened to me? So from here, you are going back to the police station. 
Um, they said 2 p.m. somewhere, yeah. But I, I don't know, yeah. So what's so, your reaction to the statement I just read? Ah. For me, I am innocent. I am not constant quabbing. I am not a hacker. I don't have an IT background. I am a journalist doing my work professionally. I didn't start today. Being an editor, I, 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 it took me years. I, I have served under so many people and got to that stage. It's not now that I started working in modern Ghana that I will start become uh, being a hacker and all that. You understand? Right. So for me, I remain truthful and I'll keep on being truthful. I won't lie. Look, if you whatever you do to me, I will say it and I'll keep on saying it. And they did not question me in relation to any hacking thing. Me. It was in relation to those publications. Nothing but that. And I still remain with that. Imano, thank you for talking to us. I'm and not fighting with anybody. I'm not a politician. I'm an ordinary citizen who's doing my job. Is your website still up? Are your people it is working? still up. They are working. It is still running. And I'll go back and work. Thank you for talking to us. Commiserations on what happened to you. Thank you very really, much. We're uh, really sorry about that. Um, and we wish you well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.